Good morning, everyone. This is the first day of my ultra run, and I have to say, I'm not feeling it at all. It is um, pouring with rain, actually quite cold, I'm wearing shorts, and I've just left the house. 6.30 a.m. and um, <laughs> I'm running the first run on my own. I was going to be running it with two of my other friends who were going to join me for part of it, but um, they've all had to do other things, so that's going to be down to me to <laughs> motivate myself. I'm also feeling really guilty about leaving kids even though they're still asleep at the moment, but just this week, it's gonna be a busy, busy week. So anyway, all that aside, I'm doing it. And I've kind of set aside expectations and just gonna run. I have about two and a half hours. So I'm just gonna see how I get on with that. So uh, my phone ran out of space, I haven't been able to record. I'm now at 17 kilometers. The weather has been horrendous. I decided not to go for 20 miles when I got to about 10k. So now I'm running up the hill and I feel okay actually, I feel okay. Um, I think because I expected to go further and aiming for 25k now. me uh, done with the running. I think I got to about 23 kilometers. I don't really do kilometers, um, but I've got this new app that ties in with the uh, race that I'm doing and um, it tells you in kilometers. So I'm walking about another kilometer. I was hoping for 25, but I'm going to be happy at the end of this. It's, a, it's been a bit of a miserable morning start to the run. I didn't really have time to take on much fuel before I started. I only just had a couple of my energy balls because, oh, while well, I was up at half five. We had pizza last night, so I had a whole vegan pizza to myself. So I still felt quite full this morning. Looking forward to going home and having some breakfast now. So I will, I haven't really filmed much today. Um, I feel good, my legs are a little bit stiff, calves a little bit twingy, but nothing. Yeah, nothing major. Sorry, my eyes are going all over the place. Yeah, nothing um, major. So yeah, I'm pretty chuffed to be honest because I haven't run more than 10 miles during this lockdown. Back from my run and have quickly got changed. Not showered yet but I'm just having a quick snack before I shower of a um some of my homemade OT bread with banana and peanut butter and a cup of coffee and then I will have something else after I've actually had a shower. And um, so now I'm just going to have a quick wash using my eco bath um, relax and what are they called? Muscle and joint um, salts because obviously I'm running longer distances this week. I love their stuff. It's um, all cruelty free and vegan and sustainable. So yeah, I'm gonna have a bath and soak a bit in that just because I don't feel painful or anything, but a little bit achy. It has been one of those days, I have to say, and I have forgotten to film, not even picked up my camera for the most of the day because I just haven't had a chance, but I am now making my dinner. I'm making my dinner just now and I thought I would just quickly show you. So it's not very exciting, but it's kind of like a mushroom. This is a filling for my, I'm gonna have a baby sweet potato um, and I've got mushrooms, peas, spinach, 
tahini, soy sauce, miso, a bit of water and some nutritional yeast and it's like got a tangy kind of, I don't know, almost stir fryish taste and it's really yummy. So I'm going to have that with a baked potato. I've also done loads of roasted veg. So um, we're going to have that too. I actually miss this stuff so much. I haven't really been able to get it during the lockdown. I don't know why. Um, but I know they have it in certain shops, but then I've been ordering quite a bit of stuff online, so I've not been able to get it online. But tahini, sesame paste is literally, I just love it for all kind of sauces, stir fries, dips, on toast, in my porridge. It is so, so yummy. So that's what's in my kind of baked potato filling. This is my baked sweet potato, which Ivy's about to try and steal with mushrooms and peas and tahini and she's got a little version there with some roasted veggies and it's hot ivy so that is dinner tonight and i've also got some roasted potatoes that i'm gonna have and carrots um i haven't added the veggies to my plate yet i've added a few of the roasted veggies that i forgot to add just some parsnips and carrots there which look delicious and ivy's going for the sweet potato is it yummy So that's our dinner, isn't it, Ivy? And we're definitely gonna have some tasty pudding. I'm not sure what yet, but we will have something, something yummy. Maybe some fudgesicles. Like nice little hug. So you should feel a nice stretch in this right glute now. We're gonna be sat in this position for a wee while, so if you... Good morning everyone. The day after run one um, and I feel pretty good. I did a good stretch last night. So I did an online video which I will link below. Um, I've done it a couple of times and I found it really good. I feel a little bit stiff so I think I'm going to go out and I've probably only got time really realistically. I'm going to aim for 10k so that will knock another six miles off and yeah it feels good to like kind of get the miles down but i don't want to overdo it at the start when i know i've got a couple of big runs booked in um with friends as well who are doing it so yeah i'm excited for friday one of my friends is doing the 100k i'm going to run with her and cycle with another friend who is doing the marathon distance over the week so that's good so i'm just um i'm actually almost ready to go i am um, got some new activewear which i might share actually because it, it i'm trying it out um at the moment it's sweaty betty never had their stuff before but i am going to wear their shorts and top probably with a jumper let's be honest i live in scotland um and it's a thin top or a shorter top um and yeah i'm gonna head out in about 10-15 minutes and get those legs done, get those miles done and I'll update you later on. Morning run, much nicer weather this morning so now that I'm running I feel a little bit stiff but I'm sure it'll be fine once I get going. Much nicer day, sunny and uh, bit warmer as well so we'll see you soon. My running route today different from yesterday but so so beautiful right next to the sea here and the other thing that always just fascinates me is that looking that way you think rural like nothing is around and then do 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 here we start and then all the way around to here and it's like, yeah, it's like industrial, not industrial, but yeah, businesses. And then um, I'm not sure what they're building. Time, 15 minutes, distance, 2.52 kilometers, average pace, 5 minutes. Well, that's a bit low down. This morning's breakfast post run, which actually felt good. It was kind of slow pace. 10.6 kilometers a few little niggles but nothing major listen to a podcast and came home this girl's got some toast and i've got a bagel with banana oh peanut butter and tahini and i've already eaten half of it so i'm not doing very well oh ivy at um 
filming. Oh. oh dear. Good evening, everyone. It is now 5.30 p.m. on day two of my 100K ultra run. And I have to apologize and say I am really bad at filming throughout the day. It hasn't really worked out as I planned. I thought I would do like day two, how I was feeling, what I was eating, but with two kids and trying to organize everything, I am just not, I'd be a terrible vlogger basically. I really wouldn't be a very good daily vlogger. You're gonna get little snippets of just random things throughout these videos. If you're interested in, in running and how I get on, I would love for you to follow along, but if not, then that's absolutely fine too. Um, I have plenty of other videos on different topics other than running. But anyway, back to the, this is the end of day two. I am feeling slightly stiff now. I also got some new activewear, which I was gonna show. I made that in a separate video because I don't have it all. I've worn some of it and it's in the wash. Um, but I will show you, I have made some more, um, prep some more energy balls for my runs for the week so I've finished the other ones and also my running fuel has arrived so I can show you that. So these are my energy balls I made this afternoon and they're basically oats, desiccated coconut, dates and peanut butter. I don't think I added anything else, really simple. I um, didn't add any sweetener or anything. That is literally all that's in there. And then I got my fist sticks. Um, these are watermelon flavor. I am an ambassador with Arbonne, but I have used their nutrition, um, sports nutrition for about four or five, five years. Um, and this is a new flavor. I usually like strawberry, but I've got watermelon. And these are basically like an energy boost. They have got um, green tea extract in them. And they also have vitamin B6 and 12. Um, and there, yeah, so there is caffeine in them. But they're amazing for my runs. I absolutely love them. They give me such a boost. And they've got that kind of like sweet enough taste to make you feel like you are getting something um, to give you energy as well. I like the taste of them. And then this is my hydration, which contains electrolytes. They both come in little... Um, sachets which are very similar ivy opened this when it arrived um so they come in little sticks like that which means they're easy to carry for really long runs yeah so these contain electrolytes to obviously as you sweat you lose um those in your body and for me personally i like to kind of sip throughout to make sure I don't get completely dehydrated, which I do find can be a problem when I run long distances. I can end up with a sore head because I don't rehydrate or water on its own doesn't seem to work for me. That's after years of trial and error. And I also got some more um, chocolate protein. This is a vegan pea protein. And again, I got the sachets. I normally buy the bigger bag. So this is probably not as sustainable because it's little individual sachets. But the reason I get them is because I can also put them in my running vest. So if I do feel I need something else, I can have one of them. But generally, I tend to have protein after a run as a kind of quick snack within that sort of 30 minute ish window when your muscles um, and your body is kind of in craving repair protein to repair um and i'm not always hungry if i've done a really really long run so i always have a protein smoothie afterwards so yeah that's that's that set for the week so i think i'm gonna end this kind of log here for the first two days i am feeling a little stiff i'm gonna do a stretch again tonight and i don't know if i'll run tomorrow i might have a day off but i'm only on done 22 miles out of 62 so i've got a long run booked on friday and i've got one booked on sunday so i would like to do a bit more because that means less for the end of the week um when i know i'm going to be more tired so yeah thanks for watching if you enjoy my videos don't forget to subscribe as i said i am kind of just recording when i can and when i remember and if you're okay with that kind of thing, I would love for you to continue following. But have a great week and I will be logging the rest of my runs and how I'm getting on.